So in this segment, we're going to be talking about lorry drivers, um, sort of the HGV crisis being blamed for um, cuts to school lunches in Lancashire. So about 500 schools will be offering reduced lunch menus from next week due to the national lorry driver shortage. And these issues are only going to get worse, especially since these um, schools source their food from typically British um, British sources, you know, um, British farms, etc. Obviously not directly, it'll go through a few middlemen. But as the farming crisis continues and we continue to try and import more food uh, from abroad, this crisis will only get worse. So 500 schools will be offering a reduced lunch menu from next week due to the national lorry driver shortage. And now this is only one of the schools that where it's really gone public. There are going to be many other schools in this same situ same situation, which we have covered before. So Lancashire County Council, which provides 65,000 meals a day, said food deliveries were being hit by the issue. We've talked previously about how um, Iceland and other places are struggling due to the crisis. Um, and that's predominantly run by the shortage of HGV drivers, which was massively, massively exacerbated by Brexit. Education bosses are still promising a healthy meal every day for each child while stock levels are replenished. Obviously, they are going to promise these things because the last thing you want is a panic on your hands. Um, especially with um, a universal credit cut as well, a lot of the kids receiving free school meals would be more reliant on getting lunch at school because they might not be able to eat as much at home because the Tories are heartless. Let's, let's not forget that. From Monday, schools will focus on fo focus on providing jack potatoes, great stuff, soups and sandwiches rather than a full menu. Fresh fruit will still be available. I mean, depending on what's in the soup, that's not the healthiest option. And jack potatoes and sandwiches are also not healthy or great options, really. Not that filling either. I suppose when you're a kid, it's different, but still. Yogurts and daily dessert options, as well as fresh organic milk or drinking water, complete the temporary menu. So not the worst thing in the world to be doing, but it does show you they are very short on options. I think other YouTubers have talked recently about the flooding in Germany causing problems with getting potatoes. That happened earlier in the year, so these schools are going to struggle a lot more as the year goes on. And also food prices are going to go up as well, which is another problem they're going to face. Are these um, schools going to have enough funding from the council to, um, you know, be able to still keep buying the stuff they are buying now? You know, it's just problems on top of problems here. Jane Rear, the county council's cabinet member for education and skills, said, we're reducing the menu for all our schools to make it fair for everybody, which is very not Tory. We'll reduce it for a couple of weeks, replenish our stocks, hopefully we'll be back up and running after half term. So that is, I'm not sure when half term is, but I assume it's in or after, in around October. So they've got a couple of weeks left really. It's also been diff so difficult to recruit drivers as it is across the country and we are doing all we can. And you've got to remember that schools costs are capped, so they can't spend as much as other supermarkets can and recoup the money. They're going to be very reliant on the councils to actually help them out here. Um, and the councils are going to be reluctant to do so because their spending has been cut massively. Their funding has been cut massively due to the central government and, of course, the pandemic. So the schools are in a very um, precarious position here. Not great news for um, the schools or the children of Lancashire, really. Julie Good Goodwin, head headmaster of the St. Louis CE Primary School in Barton, said, The bottom line is that they are going to get a warm meal and there will be a variety. We know our children well and we'll be able to cater for everyone. Well, you know, honestly, good luck with that. But my main point would be with the people of Lancashire who would be potentially upset by this is um, why are you man all voting blue? I mean, look at this. This is Lancashire up here. Look how much blue there is. This is the council. But, um, you know, these are the guys that are reliant on central government to, you know, fund them properly. And um, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if we, if we look here, you've got 11, 11 Tories and four Labour MPs here in Lancashire. And you've got a situation where the school the schools can't provide adequate meals, or at least the meals they could provide pre-Brexit. Um, because of the Tories, you know, on multiple levels because of the Tories, because of Brexit, um, because of the school cuts, because of the um, lack of kind of 
making HGV driving as good as it could possibly be. We've seen in other European countries where truck stops, you know, the drivers get food, there are proper showers there, toilet facilities, etc. And they're much safer than the ones we have in the UK and they're open for much longer as well. We don't have that in this country. So the Tories, for multiple reasons, have helped to create this problem. And, you know, the people of Lancashire, if you keep voting Tory, this will keep happening. But that's really up to you guys at this point because your votes have consequences. Now children won't be able to get the meals that they need in schools thanks to you guys thanks to all of these people who voted blue here and of course all of the people who voted blue here so um well done if you want to make a difference you know if you're in lancashire talk to your local mp who probably is a tory and ask them what's going on man what what the hell are you guys doing anyways i'm going to leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next one